This is the first of a series of presentations which will show you how to use the Vinbright filter kit for filtering wines and spirits. Uh, the first part of the presentation will show you what's in the box when you buy the filter kit. Included in the kit on purchase is a filter body, a funnel, locking ring, a support disc, and the support disc has got two faces to it which are printed on the disc, face A and face B. Face A will always sit against the filter pad, face B will sit against filter papers if you use that as an accessory with the filter. You also get a, an instruction, full instruction on how to use the filter and how to fit a pad into the filter. You will have a siphon tube and that siphon tube is fitted with a flow control valve which makes it easy to start and stop the flow through the filter. You will also get a spanner which will help to secure the locking ring in place and finally a vent tube and the vent tube has got a valve on the top to release air from the filter chamber. You will also get pads with the filter when you buy it. There are three pads available to fit the Vinbright filter kit, uh, all for different applications. Firstly, there is a coarse grade prime pad, which is in a, a green and white pack. The prime pads are, are a pre-treatment pad. They will enhance the overall performance of the filter by removing larger solids and colloidal particles that may block finer filter pads. So it's always worth running your wine through a prime pad before you either use a crystal bright or a filter bright pad. You may not notice significant difference in the differences in the clarity of your wine after passing through the prime pad, but the subsequent flow rates and performance of filter bright or crystal bright pads will be improved and it is feasible to get a five gallon batch of wine through one single crystal bright or filter bright pad if you use the prime pads first. The prime pads are also useful for anyone making spirits and liqueurs. And what they will do is remove all of the colloidal suspended particles and yeast particles prior to your wash going through the, either the air still or the T500 still and resultant spirits will have a much cleaner flavour afterwards. Secondly, we have filter bright pads. These are sold in a blue and white pack so you can differentiate them. Filter bright are fine grade pads offering excellent value. They are specifically designed to filter wine slowly maximising the time that wine is in contact with a pad. The longer wait will be rewarded with the highest clarity in your finished wines. The filter bright pad are particularly effective when filtering pre-fined wines and especially wine kits. Finally, we have the crystal bright pad. These are packed in red and white packs. The Crystal Bright are technical premium grade pads. They offer excellent clarity and faster flow rates than the, the Filter Bright pad. They are excellent pads for use with difficult wines, particularly if you first pass those wines through the Prime pad to remove some of the, the rough debris first. Next we will demonstrate how to assemble the Vinbright filter kit and how to fit a pad to it. Firstly, take the filter body and place a pad into the housing, making sure that it is fitted snugly. Then, for the Crystal Bright and the Prime pad, you will need to fit the support disc. There are three lugs that will secure that disc in place. Make sure that face A 
fits against the pad. Face B is only for fitting towards an auxiliary filter paper. Then take the locking ring, hand secure that against the support disc and finally give the disc final tighten the ring with a spanner to make sure that that pad is fully secure. Then fit the funnel, put it in place and then work around with your thumb just to make sure that it's fully fitted and finally the vent tube will go on the outer lug on the filter body. If you are using a filter bright pad then there is a slightly different way of fitting that into the filter body. The filter bright pad is a thicker pad than the prime pad or the crystal bright pad and is strong enough to support itself so it doesn't need a support disc to be fitted underneath. Also the filter bright pad does need to go into the body in a specific way. This is the rougher, cratery looking side and that needs to be fitted so that it faces inside the filter body. The other side of the pad is smoother and it's got a slightly patterned look and that needs to be fitted against the locking ring. So now we'll fit the filter bright pad into the, into the filter housing. We don't need the support disc so we can put that to one side. If you do try to put the support disc in as well as the pad then it may be difficult to put the locking ring on. So we put the pad into the filter housing with that cratery rougher looking side facing into the filter and the smoother side with a slight pattern to it against the locking ring. Tighten the locking ring into place, firstly hand tight and then finally use the spanner just to give that ring a last tighten down to make sure that the, the ring is fully locked in place and is securing the pad. Then we can fit the funnel to the bottom and finally the vent tube can be fitted to the outside inlet lug. Before we use the Vinbright filter kit to filter wine, it's important to flush the pad by passing through around 4 pints, 2 litres of water. Uh, it's not a critical measure, but what we try to do by put, passing water through first is to expand the pad and just to flush out any small particles which may be on the surface of the pad. Before using the Vinbright filter to filter wine, it's important to pass around 4 pints, 2 litres of cold water through the filter pad to swell that pad and also to remove any loose particles from the surface of the pad. So the first thing we do is to open the vent valve and then fit the filter unit on top of an empty jar put the open end of the siphon tube into the water and then suck to get a siphon action going. Once that flow starts, close the flow control valve, fit the end of the tube onto the filter housing then open it. And then look to see when water starts to emerge from the vent valve and close that vent valve off the water will then very quickly start to flow through the pad. Once the top jar is empty, then simply take the open end of the siphon tube, hold it upright just to allow the last drops to flow into the filter, then remove the siphon tube and finally open the vent valve just to allow the final drops of water that are in that filter body to drain through the pad. 
Having flushed the pad with water, the Vinbright filter is now ready to use. If you are filtering five gallons of wine, then it's acceptable to fit the filter directly onto a five gallon fermenter. In this demonstration, we are going to filter a one gallon batch of wine, so we'll be fitting the filter directly onto a one gallon demijohn. We're going to filter one gallons of rosé wine in this demonstration. This wine has previously been filtered through a coarse grade prime pad. As you can see, there has not been a large improvement in the clarity of the wine, but all of the colloidal suspended particles, the yeast particles, debris has been removed from the wine, so it's now in the optimum condition to pass it through either a crystal bright or a filter bright pad. We're going to pass the wine in this demonstration through a crystal bright pad. So firstly, we will just open the vent valve and put the demijohn, the empty demijohn, onto a lower surface, in this case the floor, and we will siphon the wine through the filter. So put the open end of the tube again, this time into the wine, suck to get a siphon going, close the flow control valve, and then fit to the central inlet lug of the filter. Open the valve and then watch to see when the wine starts to emerge from the outlet valve and close. The wine will now start to filter. As you can see the flow rate is quite good and the clarity of the wine that comes through is of commercial standard. And the reason that we are achieving these results is because we passed the wine first through the prime pad, which enabled us to remove all of the, the debris, the large debris from the wine before using the crystal bright pad. So in conclusion therefore, and I think it's fair to say that what we have with the Vinbright filter kit and the new three pad system is an option which will give an excellent result for just about every winemaker and every single situation. You have a choice of fine grade pads, coarse pads and premium grade higher flow rate pads so there is uh, there's a product there to suit pretty much every situation and also for liqueur and spirit makers too and uh, the, you know, the lesson that we've learned here is that the, the slower flow rate will reward you with higher clarities so if you're not in a hurry to pass the wine through the, the filter then the filter bright will give you the best possible clarity that you could expect from any filter on the market and it's the reason why a gravity filter is by far the better option as opposed to a pressure based filter which is more expensive, much more expensive and is not going to give you the kind of resultant clarities that a gravity based filter such as the Vinbright will give you so you know, the, the advice is uh, if you're not worried about flow rate and you shouldn't be worried about flow rate really then choose prime pad and filter bright pad if you want the, the results to be pretty much as good but you want a higher flow rate or if you've got a difficult wine then the crystal bright pad is the, is the choice but either way a film bright is going to give you exceptional clarity in your wines and what we find is that when anyone has been uh, made aware of the benefits of using Vinbright, they never go back. So if you've, you're new to winemaking, you get reasonable clarities through finding your wine with, with the findings that are included in the kit, you might be happy. Once you see the results that you can achieve through using your filter, then we find that no one ever goes back. Everybody that uses a Vinbright continues to use it on every single wine they make because the results are so good.